The Southern Wildlife Preserve stretches along three miles of the San Diego River west of the Interstate 5 bridge and south of SeaWorld. It's one of the last urban estuaries of its type remaining in California. This section of the river is home to endangered birds and a stop on the Pacific Flyway. On this early Sunday morning, 54 volunteers are using kayaks and canoes to clean up the river while others collect litter along the shoreline. We are going to take the kayaks out and do a little bit of cleaning up the trash that's floating in the water on the estuary. Um, this is normally, it's a wildlife preserve, part of the Southern Wildlife Preserve, but we get special permission once a year outside of nesting season to make sure we can go in there and get everything out last chance before it hits the ocean. Rob Hutzel with the San Diego River Park Foundation says only 5% of the original coastal wetlands remain in California, and this is one of those areas. It's also home to endangered birds. One of those is the clapperel, which is a very endangered species of bird that lives right out here. Um, and there's just few of them, a few hundred of them in the world, and uh, we we're fortunate to have few of them. It's also just an area that's beautiful. It's part of Mission Bay Park, and people come by, tens of thousands of people on a summer day come through here, and you don't want to see trash out there. Um, you know, all of those good reasons. Which is one reason the volunteers are navigating the thick reeds in the estuary to remove tennis balls, plastic bottles, and other trash. Collecting garbage. Everywhere you look, there can be garbage. Because you've already found a uh, Yeah, recycling and garbage. We, we separate it. This is garbage, and this is recycling. And you're only about 15 minutes into starting to pick stuff up, and if already that, you got yeah. those bags of trash. <laughs> it's amazing where you don't actually see it, it's there. It's been in the water so long, it looks like part of the water. But it doesn't decompose or biodegrade. There's a lot of tennis balls We've people are finding so far this morning in the river. These are just two of, of many. It's a little thicker in here, so it's not quite as easy to paddle through to get to some of this trash, but that's why they do this special cleanup once a year with special permission to come into this part of the San Diego River estuary to pick up this trash. You can't really see a lot of this trash from the shoreline, but once you get in a boat and get into the river, there's a lot of it here. I found a lid. Does that count for a drink? <laughs> You really can't see just how much trash and litter is in the reeds of the estuary until you get in the water. Unfortunately, sites like this are far too common in this pristine section of the San Diego River. We find lots of plastic bottles, a lot of these alcohol bottles, a Frisbee. This plastic trash in the San Diego River in this part of the estuary is far, far too common. Matt Cochran of Poway is finding his share of plastic and other trash. I've got the makings of a bed set. Two pillows, I have about, I don't know, 20 tennis balls, a little over. I've got three flip-flops, a whole bunch of bottles, plastic, glass, styrofoam, plastic bags, found a whole lunch. It's Cochran's second year pulling trash from the estuary. He plans to offload his full boat and then head back out to collect even more. Rob Hutzel with the River Park Foundation says the Three Mile Estuary serves as a sort of barometer for the overall health of the river. It's the end of the pipe, and uh, so it really tells you kind of how the health of the rest of the river is doing. All of the stuff that's pollutants in the, in the river eventually washes down here, and so it kind of tells us how healthy it is. He says they're seeing less trash in the river, but still the overall water quality for the river rates a C grade. Here's this year's numbers from the estuary cleanup. The 54 volunteers removed 1,200 pounds of trash, 107 pounds of recyclables, such as plastic, and the most unusual item was a message in a bottle. 